I am loving the new show and I want to get into all of it. But of course I took a step back because I love people's bodies of work. I was wondering um, if I could ask you about um, some of your projects that we've all loved over the years. Drew Barrymore can ask me anything. Oh my gosh, you did good! Well, how did I never get to work with Drew Barrymore in all my projects? That's the question. I don't understand how we never got lined up, you know? Well, there is still time. Okay, okay, there you heard it, folks. You've been in so many things that I absolutely love. Let's get into them. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in a favorite game I like to play called Behind the Scenes. <laughs> Here we go. Talk soup. Oh, yes. Look at that baby face. Yes, yes. That was some hair. Uh, it was basically just a clip show where you look at all the daytime talk shows. And, and at first, it kind of started like a very straightforward show. And then we were like, well, there, there's no way we can take any of this very seriously. And <laughs> it just started to get bananas. I remember going down to Disneyland, and they ended up putting me in the Disneyland parade. So I suddenly I had ears on. And <laughs> Trying to be cool, sort of anti-culture talk soup guy, but when you got the ears on, <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't want tickets to Disneyland. Let me be clear about that. But I, you're like I'm equal opportunity in my ears. Exactly. Okay, tell us about the incredible remake of a beloved classic with Harrison Ford and Julia Armand, Sabrina. Ah, Sabrina. Yeah, it was my first, uh, first, you know movie opportunity, we shot it actually out in Glen Cove, Long Island. I, I had this white tuxedo on half the film, and down in Long Island, the bluefish start running uh, around April or May, and I love fishing, and I would go with my pole down to the water's edge, and I'm in that white tuxedo down by the shore <laughs> trying to catch bluefish, and I f finally landed one, at the very moment, because they were always waiting, and they were finally like, as soon as I got it up, this, this scaly, slithery beast in my hands, they're like, Greg, we need you now. <laughs> and I go up on, uh, go up on the thing and, and covered in fish scales, and I, I got an earful from the costume department. But oh, that was, uh, that well. Was my best story from Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your Oscar-nominated role, as good as it gets. Yeah. I remember going to the Oscars with, I took my parents and it was great. Uh, it was, I, you know, honestly, it's just such a blur. I didn't even know, like suddenly my mom's like, honey, how are we getting there? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then there was a limousine that pulled up and I looked through the window and I'm like, oh my God, this is the most horrific limousine I've ever seen. I think there was like a jacuzzi in the back of it. <laughs> and I was like, and he's bumping in, he was bumping into like the garage and trying to circumvent our driveway. And I was like, okay, there's no getting around. The show's starting in an hour. I usher my, my wife, mom and dad. My mom's like, oh, look, there's a disco ball. And <laughs> it was so mortifying because he got to the show and <laughs> I just remember thinking, why can't I have a cool car like everyone else? Because <laughs> life always throws those comedic curveballs. Yeah, I guess. Okay, you've got mail. Yeah. <laughs> Nora Ephron. I, I wasn't chosen to do the movie. Then I went and she said, can we get breakfast at, you know, EAT? Is that what it's called? Yeah, can I, a, a, it's AKA for let me get you in my web, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. She was kind of, because it's such a cute little place in the upper, I think, east side. And, yes. you know, you go in there and it's like, what are, they, what are you going to do? After you sit down, I'm having a lovely breakfast with Nora. Of course, by the time I was halfway through my coffee, I'm she doing knows. the movie. Yes, because AKA spider web EAT. Exactly! D-U-H. Duh! Um, I'm going to go straight into the next movie I love so much, and you are such a savior in it. You have a heart of gold in this movie, Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. The most dangerous movie I've ever shot. It's like me driving that bus. There's no green screen. We're on a highway. There's cameras. We didn't ha own the highway, so there are people driving around just looking at us going, what the hell's going on here? So we just made it up as we went along. But that, that kind of independent guerrilla filmmaking was uh, a, a kind of a, a gem of its time. They don't do that yes, as much anymore. I love it. I want to turn the tables. I want to ask Drew Barrymore about Fever Pitch, because I always like that. Oh! Uh, yeah. Oh, well. That, um, 
That is a very special uh, film for me because we were a part and witnessed the breaking of the curse of the Bambino. 81 years at that point, the Red Sox hadn't won. And the film was about- Were you there at that game? Yes! Oh my God. We filmed, we filmed the end of the yes. movie on the mound Great. in St. Louis and, and we thought we were gonna <laughs> jinx them. We were like, oh, we're gonna be the thing that gets in the way of this team winning. And then we're filming the whole season. And then also Jimmy Fallon, who is the lead, fell in love with my producing partner, Nan, who's my yeah. best friend in the world, and yeah. now they have two kids. And it's- I didn't know that. Yes!